हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इजी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एस पी पी यू एफ वाई बी एस सी कंप्यूटर साइंस ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप ऑफ एग्जाम पर्टिकुलरली फॉर द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सब्जेक्ट एंड पेपर वन विच इज द इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सिस्टम्स एंड दिस इज द फिफ्थ पार्ट ऑफ द सेशन ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप ऑफ सेशन so here the questions uh, the very first question of this part is in a non linear op amp circuit the dash op amp saturates op amp never saturate feedback loop is never opened and output shape is the same as the input shape so here the correct answer is answer c in a non linear op amp circuit the feedback loop is never opened the voltage output of a smith trigger is dash a high voltage a low voltage a sine wave either a low or high voltage now here as we know that smith trigger is showing us the waveform um, in both direction that is positive and negative so that's why option d is the correct here the voltage output of a smith trigger is either a low or high voltage now here i am getting the options first maybe the animation yes the question is hysteresis prevents false triggering associated with dash now here uh, the noise voltage uh, the false triggering which are associated with the noise uh, voltages that is prevented by the hysteresis of the op amp then question 4 is if the input is rectangular pulse the output of an integrator is a sine wave square wave ramp or rectangular pulse now here you are giving the rectangular pulse as an input and at the output you will get the ramp in case of the integrator op amp as an integrator and just uh, note down that it is the non linear application of the op amp then the next question a comparator with a trip point of 0 is sometimes called as a threshold detector zero crossing detector positive limit detector and half wave detector so the correct answer is the zero crossing detector so trip point of 0 means uh, that means you are taking the reference voltage of the comparator as zero volt okay so that's why it is uh, also then the next question is gain of the op amp is the ratio of v in upon v out whether it is true false can't say or none of these so whenever we are talking about the gain of op amp then it is the ratio of output quantity upon the input quantity here the inverse of it is given so that's why this is the false so answer b is the correct here then the cmrr of op amp is expressed as CMRR is the common mode rejection ratio and it is expressed as AD upon AC which is the ratio between that of the differential mode gain of op amp to the common mode gain of the op amp okay and in the last uh, uh, video i think uh, i told you some uh, five ideal characteristics of op amp that is first one is the input impedance which is infinite output impedance must be zero then bandwidth of the op amp must be infinite and the voltage gain open loop gain of the op amp must also be infinite and the last one is the perfect balance so these are the five ideal characteristics of op amp then the ratio of the change in input offset current to the change of temperature is called as so whenever we are talking about the changes in the quantities of op amp with respect to the change in temperature then that is called as the thermal drift okay now here we are discussing the change in the input offset current so obviously it will be called as the input offset current drift so option d is the correct answer here then the next is the average value of ib1 and ib2 when v out is zero is called as option a input bias current so input bias current is always written as ib1 plus ib2 upon 2 so these are the characteristics of op amp some of the i think uh, uh, there are 
15 to 20 characteristics of op-amp or parameters that we had already discussed okay and one of the characteristics is the input bias current which is the average of the two currents uh, flowing through the input terminals of the op-amp when both of them are grounded. The typical unit of slivulate is microvolt per millisecond, volt per microsecond, millivolt per millisecond and microvolt per second. So option D is the correct answer here. For slivulate, the typical unit is microvolt per second. So this was all related with the fifth part of this session. And uh, in the next video, we will discuss the last part of uh, this objective type of session. So, yes, if you like this video, then like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you.